Irwin Santos and Tinawagan and Paul, his second personal. 13 foul, but to San Miguel. Marta Giwa now with 15 points. And Kagiwa's high game in this conference, 18 points. That was the uh, another win over Barraco. Just a one-point lead, Paras and San Miguel, 71-70. Over four minutes remaining in the fourth and final quarter. And by the way, Ginebra giving up only 75 points a game to its opponents. Now San Miguel has scored 71. Still a lot of time left. Make that 73. Dodo Nauteveros has scored 16 of his 20 points here in the second half. It's back to a three-point San Miguel lead. Miller. And he wants to join the party as well. That's a tough turnaround shot by Willie Miller. Now he feels he's got something to prove because his man is Dodo Nauteveros. And he's getting burned by Dodon. Here's Arwin Santos. So far, Ontiveros has been the man of the moment. Paras and San Miguel. Washington. Oh, nice block from behind. But there's contact. Well, Jimbo Aquino's done an excellent job defending against Arwin Santos. And uh, this particular quarter, Santos has been absolutely quiet. Santos is. In fact, has scored only two points in the entire second half. The big no mistake about it, Jay Washington. Pinag Papa Wisa Chaki Rudy Hatfield. Uh, he has had to earn every point, all all eight points tonight, which as you know is really below par. Pero bumabawi naman siya on defense with three shot blocks. You know, I think the level of confidence of Coach Ato Agustin gives Washington is amazing. Even if he's struggling on offense because of Hatfield's defense, Agustin is still giving him the trust and confidence to play his game. And Washington is adjusting. Huh? He's doing what he needs to do to contribute. Meantime, here's Wilson. Elter Brand. Shot clock winding down. Kick out pass. There's a foul. A push here against the Beermen. Under duration, six seconds left in the shot clock of Ginebra when that foul was committed. So they only set to 14. First person, Alaban Quedondo Nontiveros, 14 pa, Alaban to San Miguel. More time to shoot here para sa Ginebra. Wilson, posting up. Unproductive, uh, Sequence there para sa Ginebra. Washington against Wilson. Relieved to see Wilson instead of Hatfield. But he still has nowhere to go, but a foul is committed here by Willie Wilson. That's a tough cover for Willie Wilson. Second person, Alaban K. Wilson. And now Ginebra is at the limit with 309 remaining in the payoff period. And you see the versatility of uh, Jay Wash. Now that he's up against a smaller defender, he'll post him up. And he can be good at that. He can be deadly at that. And if he's going up against someone like a Hatfield, who's a good post defender, he'll attack it from the outside. That's his versatility. And look at the way he's defended that basket. Swatting away those shots already with three block shots in this game. Oh, two missed free throws here by Jay Wash. So good, good foul given up by uh, Willie Wilson. And Jay Washington still not in double figures in this ball game. Miller. Hatfield. Helter Brand is open. Helter Brand, where's he going? Shot knocked out to three. Miller under duress. And again, another shot clock, uh, shot clock violation. Laban sa Ginebra. <laughs> that expression in Jongo Chico's face says it all. They, they've had a number of those in this ball game. Although when you look at the scoreboard, Kirita, through to four, as, a, as any Ginebra game goes, it's a low scoring ball game. Right, it's a low scoring ball game. Agiwa gets Arwin Santos, Wilson, and now Helterbrand. 
And we are approaching the last two minutes of the fourth. Spin a row. Miller! Yes, sir! I don't know how. I don't know how Miller managed to come up with a shot in that situation. He squeezed that out. Out of a nothing situation. <laughs> Unbelievable shot for Willie Miller. We're in the last two minutes of this ball game. San Miguel, La Mamparin, 75-74. Antiveros, he's been red hot here in the second half. Antiveros, no goal, not that time. And the ball is picked up by Mark Aguila. Inebra down by just one. A minute and a half remaining in the ball game. At stake is Inebra's sixth game. Winning streak. That's on the line tonight. Three to shoot. Hatfield on the move. And Hatfield is fouled. And he will take two. Number four, the second, that's the first team foul. It's going to be a beer in the last few minutes. As always, no overexpression of emotion on the part of Ako Agustin, no matter what the situation is. Sigorio Peña pinawagan ng foul and that time nakawala si Rudy Hatfield off of that pick and roll play Hatfield has been struggling here offensively but he ties the ball game at 75 1 and 20 remaining deep as the fourth quarter Peña will be replaced by Danny Siegel here Coach Otto Agustin, what a brilliant sub going for offense now with Danny Siegel as they will get the ball back after the shot by Rudy Hatfield. The Lamang Dang Ginebra, 76 75. Ginebra was down by as many as 14 points, but they're now back on top by one. Antiveros shadowed by Kagiwa. Shot clock down to seven. Antiveros, no go! Rebound by the Jim Kings. And Willie Miller has the ball. And if he never scores here, it will be Bedlam in the big toe. Shot clock down to 13. Miller still has the ball against Kabakbut. And it's one and one now. And Miller goes to Willie Wilson. No! Arwin Santos tying for the rebound. There's a loose ball foul. An open shot for Willie Wilson. Big miss there by Willie Wilson. That's a penalty at Ginebra. Yes, it's going to be two free throws for Arwin Santos. He had the big rebound. Arwin Santos, 22. Well, even if the crowd hits on Arwin Santos' case, it was not affected. Easily sinking the first free throw. So we're tied in you at 76. So far, Arwin Santos, a perfect three out of three from the line. This to give San Miguel the lead. And he does, and they call time. Peña's checked back in for defensive purposes and for board work in place of uh, Danny Siegel. 36.7 seconds remaining. Beat us the fourth quarter. And, uh, Puntanyo po kami dito sa Araneta Coliseum. There's always a party here at the Araneta Center. Our games are Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And we also have our giant Christmas tree here inside the Araneta Center. Check that out along with the game. Back with more action after these. Petitioners were all along with our VIPs. Commissioner Chito Salud, of course, with, with Michelle Olaso, the Araneta Center. And we're going to have a wild wind-up. Dito's a big dome. Ginebra and San Miguel, just one point. Separates both teams. And this is the closest any team has come to Ginebra's score over the last six games because Ginebra's won the last six games by an average whopping margin of 16 points. Not tonight. Not against San Miguel. Miller gets away. Tubit goes right. Tubit 
up and under. Drop pass and Hatfield scores! Again, the unselfish play of Palangay Hinebra going for the high percentage shot. I thought Tubit had a crack at the basket but elected to dish off to a wide open Rudy Hatfield. You cannot win six straight games if you don't share the basketball this way. In a crucial juncture of the game, Tubit attracting two defenders and Hatfield all alone. Well, that's, that's because Tubit, Tubit invited the defense towards him. Jay Washington taking his eyes away from Rudy Hatfield, going to uh, to Tubit, and Tubit finding the wide open Hatfield. Pakinggan natin si Ato Make the ball out. Make the ball out. Okay. Armin, ito na Armin. Okay? Oh, no, no. Don't go. Don't go. Go na. Sin tayo kay Armin. Armin. Gagano ka lang. Then, sin tayo kay Alex. Alex. Gano tayo dito. Gano tayo. Stay watch. Stay here. BS. Dito ang two-spin. Ano? Alex, tuloy natin. Ngayon, lang tayo ng uh, Y tayo and BS. Dito ka, BS. BS. Arwin. Ah, tulog. Dewa. Arwin. Arwin. Dito ka, Arwin. Dito ka, Arwin. Dito ka, Arwin. Dito ka, BS. Ah, Don. Dito ka, Don. Bigay natin kay Dewa. Gagalan na. Ah, no, 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 no. Bigay natin kay Dewa. Stay here, okay? Stay here. Bigay natin dyan. Tapos. Well, ito na. Tayuan na tayo dito sa Big Dome. With 28.7 seconds remaining. It's an SRO crowd witnessing a wild finish between the top two teams in the league. You know, sa dami ng weapons ni Coach Ato Agustin, he has so many options here. But I think what he wanted to do was to give the ball to Jay Washington. That's right. And let's see whether he can attack Willie Wilson from the outside. It has not been a big scoring night for Washington. But he gets the tip in. He gets the tip in on a second effort. At Namang Namuli on San Miguel, 79, 78. And that's exactly how Ato Agustin wanted it. He wanted it. He wanted the ball in the hands of Jay Wash because he knew that he would have a mismatch. But mention a gulang in Washington, no? See, uh, Willie Wilson, instead of posting up, he came from the outside and then he attacked, but he was right there for the offensive rebound. There's the height, the length. Yeah. Now, even if it has not been a dominating night offensively for Washington, when he's in the game, he's still a major headache for Hinebra's defense. Exactly, and he was right there. Washington did not give up on the play. Again, it will be Hinebra's turn to come up with a big basket. Possibly, possibly the winning basket with 13.4 seconds remaining. Both teams are in the penalty. San Miguel with, with, with a full timeout remaining. Samatalang Hinebra, meron nila isang 30 second timeout na natitira. There's a man who could be the hero of this game. 11 points. Not the best offensive night, but he has 12 rebounds, 3 shot locks, 3 assists. And that's a talented player who could contribute in a lot of ways. That's right. The good thing about Jay Washington is that he didn't give up on himself. He wasn't exasperated and frustrated. The fact that Rudy had to take him tough defense throughout made him struggle for his points. But he compensated. He went to his defense, his strong suit, and he went to block shots. He clogged the middle. He did what Coach Ato Augustine asked him to do. Even on that last play, when he attacked uh, Willie Wilson from the outside instead of posting up, which which he did earlier. So, ganda na kanyang uh, pinakitang uh, unpredictability. Hinebra is putting their sixth game winning run on the line. They have their sights set on leadership of the league. It all hangs in the balance in this play. Miller gets away, baseline block. He was blocked. Eight seconds to go. Eight seconds to go. And the Beardman get the ball. The Beardman get the ball. Two seconds to go. Never is not able to foul. And San Miguel wins 79 78. A one point victory here by San Miguel. Jay Washington putting it out of the fire. 